Good morning, and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Market Report, courtesy of iForex. Ample inventories and stable refinery operation drive gasoline prices lower, but this is not translated to similarly lower retail value. Scientists continue to worry that the possibility of leaving the EU will bring a potential loss of about $1.2 billion a year of investments intended for research and discoveries. Bank of Japan decided to increase its ETF purchases from 3.3 to 6 trillion yen due to the uncertain outlook in global health. The percentage that business managers expect the price of goods and services to change annually during the next two years in New Zealand should be published today. A reading higher than 1.6 will most likely boost the New Zealand dollar to new highs. The interest rate charged on overnight loans between financial intermediaries in Australia is projected to decrease to 1.50%, which will most likely push the dollar lower against the Aussie. Crude continues to consolidate as traders anticipate the release of US crude oil inventories tomorrow. The S&P 500 might head lower as inferior durable goods, as well as GDT report, plague the index. However, analysts are expecting that earnings will play a fundamental role in future developments. Today promises several significant releases for the Australian dollar. Starting the Australian building approvals will be published at 2.30 GMT, along with Australian trade balance at 400 GMT. New Zealand inflation expectations will be disseminated followed by Australian cash rate and RBA statement at 5.30 GMT. At 9.30 UK construction PMI will be disseminated and at some point of the day New Zealand GDT price index will be disclosed. That's all for Tuesday's Market Outlook. Join us again for more in-depth analysis from iForex.